This is Rosa Scheib with another episode of Satoshi's Treasure Hunters. And yay! Happy Clue Day! Uh, sorry for the delay. I'm going to have to re- uh, change my recording schedule due to the fact that it's extremely hot where I'm at and turning off the, uh, the cooling function in my home is not uh, the best thing to do during the daytime. But here I am with uh, the Clue Day drop. Uh, we had two clues have dropped, and let's get into that. Okay, so we've had two clue drops. One is called the World Key Cash 001, which have three geolocation keys, and a clue to the fact that there will be three more additional World Keys or geolocation clues made available to the game. And then we have a contest key called the Pair Key. So right now, uh, there are three keys you can say that are currently super active, which is the street key, which is the video interview key, the world key, which is ongoing right now, and the pair key. And let's break down what each of these individual keys, these new keys, the world key catch 01 and the pair key are. So just a quick clue update. We have the Earth Key, which is still unsolved. We have the Zero Knowledge Key, in which one key has been distributed. The Philanthic Keys, which have two keys distributed, uh, both of them to the Toshi Cipher Group. And there's two more additional keys that will be distributed to whoever clan or hunter is the biggest uh, giver, if you will, to the Binance charity funds that are available on the site. And then we have the street key, which is the video interview key, uh, kind of a contest key, if you will, and the world catch 001 key. So time and space. Several keys have been placed at various locations around the world. Guatemala, world key available now and gives the uh, geo, uh, the longitude and latitude location for that key. The Hawaii world key available noon on July 21st, 2019 local time. Uh, Beijing World Key available today at 4 p.m. Uh, local time, which is kind of past. Uh, the same Beijing King will also be delivered to those who submit their final work at the hackathon. Uh, let's click kick on that. And while that is loading, one additional key will be delivered to everyone who has documented documents the process of key retrieval, the whole process, and sequentially posted on a platform, Twitter, YouTube, etc. Uh, email us huntwithsatoshi at gmail.com the video link with the subject cash zero video and you will have an additional key. Limit one additional key per catch for each hunter. Three more low keys locations to be announced. So we have a total of one, two, three keys that you can retrieve at these geolocations. Uh, one of them through a hackathon. And then the other is if you document, document the efforts. So any clan or individual that You know, it takes the time to video chat or uh, blog, if you will, the interactions. And uh, I'm pretty sure they probably want some video because it's kind of have a marketing component to the clue, uh, the retrieval of that particular key. And then you have a door hackathon um, here on this website. Uh, I'm not on Google, so I can't automatically translate this. Guess I'm gonna have to go to Google. (coughs) Fourth Industrial Revolution. In the 21st century, a large number of problems have to be solved fundamentally. Relying on technology progress progress and innovation. Very customer represents the most advanced productivity and spirit of technical fields. These people, regardless of gender, regardless of age, fought together in the front line of the new economy, cutting edge technology together for the fourth industrial revolution of the wave of modernization and make its own contribution. Thanks to every Chinese geek, the global Dora geek, and thank you for embracing innovation, embrace the spirit of freedom and open source culture behind the endless possibility. The fourth industrial revolution has come. Become a geek and then join. You still have time. We look forward to meeting the next Zuckerberg or the next Yang Yalong. I will see you in Beijing in July. So it's a hackathon, hacker marathon. 
and I guess the hacks are for 5G, uh, IoT devices, AI, and I'm not sure what this will be here. Uh, but looking at the bottom here, it must definitely be going with uh, finance. And look who's there again, Binance. So Geeks, a cutting edge technology conference for themes. And the competitive parallel period, parallel period of 66 fields, one hour workshops. So as we know already from previous clues that our game makers like conferences, they like these hackathon types of deals. And this is, you know, a, another way for them to broaden the game audience, if you will, by participating in these conferences and, and getting more people involved, uh, already emphasizing on the kind of tech-centric aspects of, I guess, your potential gaming audience. But considering that these are geolocation keys, it allows for not as tech-savvy individuals to be able to still participate in this hunt and achieve the goal of attempting to get those foreigner keys by racking up some of these geolocation keys. Now, already as a recording of this episode, uh, Guatemala and Beijing have been found according to the Steam claim. I'm sure other clans or individual hunters have already found these keys. Uh, Hawaii is next up. And we'll see how the documentation goes as far as getting that special extra key, if you will. So for this key, this geolocation key, this geolocation clue, if you will, uh, there's potential for four keys to be racked up by any individual or clan. And then you have the pair key, which is, I think, the one of the more interesting keys has come up on the scene. You used to call me is a little clue header. You used to call me. Clans are the essence of the hunt. However, today's clue is about even a smaller unit, a pair. The internet has massively enabled friendships over great distances. We used to say my real life friend or my internet friend, but now for so many of us, that's not much of a difference. These friendships form from the bonds of common interests across vast distances are a powerful force for good in the world, and today, Clue honors them with a challenge. Step one, to form a link pair, two hunters need to shoot a video of yourself outside making the same secret gesture, make up your own. Uh, the video location must be easily visually authentical, authenticable. The easiest way to do this would be to have your video in front of a famous landmark. But it's fine if you get creative. Just be aware that if it's hard to authenticate your location, you may be disqualified. Step two, post a video on Twitter with the following hashtag. Hashtag Satoshi's treasure, hashtag pair key, the name of your pair, e.g. Toshi pair, the places where you are at, uh, Union Square, Times Square, and the distance between the two using Google Earth to measure. On August 15th, 2019 at midnight GMT, the pair with the maximum distance between them will receive a unique key that should be jealously guarded from all their pairs, clans, and hunters. So good luck. And so with this one, you have uh, is a contest clue, a contest <coughs> is a contest clue, and you have the potential of earning one key. Uh, at some point in August, uh, whoever has the best distance, you will, if you will, uh, is going to win. So there's going to be a bit of a game theory, I think, going on where whoever thinks they have the achievable best distance is going to probably drop it last minute, if you will and then um, the game makers are gonna have to verify. So there you have it, uh, two clues in total, a uh, potential of five keys are up for grabs. Um, like in the progression here, where we have some active uh, key movement, different types of keys available. Again, we have the two contest keys, the philanthropic key, um, and the pair key, and then you have the will key with a geolocation key. And then you still have the zero knowledge key and the earth key, which has to do with the technical aspects of the hunt. Uh, divergent, very diversified uh, keys, if you will. Um, clues or puzzles that people have to solve. Uh, some of them have to do with clans. Some of them, ha again, have to do with uh, partnerships, if you will. Um, all of this is, you know, good progression. Um, multiple keys at one time, so we're, we're getting up there as far as uh, collecting these keys, um, hoping uh, we get some more keys uh, or clues dropping this week. Uh, there was a bit of a, almost a week break, if you will, from the street key, so it's nice to have two keys 
drop uh, towards the end of this week, but I would love for like five five keys or five clues to drop um, in a given week period. Uh, I think it, it creates a big, a big, better buzz, more activity amongst clans, amongst the the Twitter sphere or the Telegram chat room, and um, more activity for people to uh, have an opportunity or a chance to participate and acquire those keys. So, um, yeah, uh, I have a, a link right here as well as the, uh, at the end of this video to my thoughts about um, clans, you know, how to, how to join them, what they're about, uh, the different philosophies here will, um, as well as potentially my concept of how to disperse the Bitcoin prize. Um, my next video that's not um, clue or weekly update uh, video will be about um, Bitcoin addresses themselves, um, the difference between the legacy address of the one and SegWit, as well as potentially what could be happening with the particular Bitcoin address once we find it, um, some additional monetary gains, if you will, that could happen just beyond just the fluctuation price of Bitcoin, as well as how to potentially disperse those funds amongst your clan. So that's it. Um, I have nothing additional to add. Um, my name is Hiroja Shai. This is Doshi's Treasure Hunters, and happy clue day. Uh, on with the hunt. If you would like to enter uh, interact with me you can find me on satoshi's uh, underscore treasure on instagram or on twitter at satoshi's hunters you can also uh, interact with me if you will or support in a way um, by listening to the podcast version of this show on anchor fm at Hiroja shy you can also uh, support the show by either donating with uh, bitcoin at the address below or scan the QR code, or again, you can listen to the show on uh, Anchor FM, Hiroja Shibe. You should be able to find Satoshi's Treasure Hunters on most podcast app uh, apps like Spotify, um, Google. I, I have a link in the show notes to um, those particular platforms, as well as the RS.